It's Madden NFL 24, and the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Miami Dolphins and the Kansas City Chiefs, and it's coming up next. It is perhaps the best home field advantage in all of football and certainly the loudest as we welcome you inside Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City. Coming up, we've got a good one here in the AFC as it'll be the Miami Dolphins taking on the defending Super Bowl champions, the Kansas City Chiefs. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, And CD, you and I, we always enjoy our visits to Kansas City. These fans among the best in football, and they should be a happy punch too. Their guys are defending Super Bowl champions. And the reason that they are is because the offense and the defense, they complement each other so well. Offense gets off the fast starts, allows the defense to just rush the passer, which is a strength of what they do. That and good barbecue, Kansas City, big time favorites. Meanwhile, for the visiting Dolphins, we know about the weapons on offense on the perimeter. But you think this is a team, Charles, that needs to step it up defensively to go to the next level. I do, and they have the pieces in place. They have excellent players. Perhaps the new system that's been brought in will give them that edge that they need in the AFC East. Jason Sanders now to get this one started and into a sea of red. We're underway in Kansas City. No run back here on the opening kickoff as we'll start at the 25. So here come the defending champs led out by the reigning MVP of the National Football League, a two-time winner now in Patrick Mahomes. There's nothing the league's best quarterback didn't achieve last season. Super Bowl trophy, check. MVP award, check. League leader in yards and touchdowns, check. How does he top the season he had last year? I don't know. But Patrick Mahomes, he usually finds a way. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. Really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Valdez Scantling in motion right. He's going to handle it on the touch pass. And he'll push his way forward to about the 32. And a lot of times these plays, they either go for nothing or they go for big yardage. And here, they got to the outside, turned it upfield, and ended up getting a nice little gain out of it. Third play of this opening drive as they're looking at a third and three. They go play fake. Mahomes. And that's caught inside the 35. A big play there for KC. 41 yards. Things are looking pretty darn good on this first drive, aren't they? Came right out, set the tone, this time with a big pass play. And if the peek behind the curtain that they gave us or their game plan, I don't think that's going to be the last one we see. I think you're exactly right about that. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. The good signal callers will never go back in the huddle and play the blame game because they need those guys to protect him. But on that last one, his offensive line, they lost their leverage very quickly, and that's why they were able to get to him and hit him as he tried to throw the football and force an incompletion. They go play action. Now Mahomes. That ball is caught. Marquez Valdez scambling. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. 23 yards on the play. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. And he's going to take it into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Jarek McCallum, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Chiefs will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. 
like what we saw right there. Good running down near the goal line because that was a really good drive. They were able to possess the ball, have some early success moving it downfield, and then clearly the most important thing, finishing things off with the ball in the end zone. Extra point by Butker is on target, and it's now a 7 0 game. That time, a six play drive, and it ends with a three yard scoring run. To the touchdown. Here's Butker on to kick it away. The Dolphins set to go on offense for the first time behind their 25 year old quarterback. Now in his fourth NFL season, to a tongue of Iloa. Injuries overshadowed a great season from Tua last season. He led a Miami passing game that was one of the best in the league, and even more importantly, took them to the postseason for the first time in six years. That jump they were looking for from him, it absolutely occurred. Now their 31-year-old running back, Raheem Mostert, brought down by Willie Gay. Hey, it's not the most spectacular play, but I think most teams will take that every single time for the first play of a drive. Begin the series with positive yardage and set yourself up for a very manageable second down. From the 34-yard line, here's second down and five. They'll stay on the ground with Mostert. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. That play reminded me a lot of a former teammate of mine. We used to call him the trash man. His ability to sit through traffic and make plays was uncanny. And that's exactly what you want from your Mike linebacker. They'll try and run here with Mostert. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. An ideal start defensively. They already have the touchdown. Now they get the stop. Just like they drew it up on the chalkboard. Does that sound dated? Right? Am I, am I out of touch a little bit? <laughs> it's all right. All right, grease board, heck, computer, exactly what you want, though. Score on your first drive, stop them on the first drive defensively. Jake Bailey on down to punt here on fourth down. Fielded just inside the 20. 39-yard punt, six yards on the return. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. Mahomes now to throw. And a quick throw here that's complete. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that will bring up second down. Short throw hauled in by Kelsey. And Kelsey's going to have a Chiefs first down as the tackle going to be made up at the 37. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Working from the gun, Mahomes. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. An 11 yard pickup, and it's enough for a Chiefs first down. Well, as a coach, you absolutely love seeing your offense find their rhythm early, and that's exactly what we've seen so far. They had a touchdown on their opening drive, and now they connect here for another nice game for a first down. This offense is moving the ball well, exactly as he drew it up in practice. Mahomes throw taken in by Valdez Scantlin. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. 
Obviously, slowing down the homes is going to be a tall order. He gets the completion there, but it, what do defenses need to try to do against him? Well, as we saw in the Super Bowl against Tampa Bay, their number one goal was to get him to third down and long situations, not third and manageable, meaning third and four or less, but third and seven or more. There are plenty of those situations because now you can unleash your pass rushers. And if you can get that going, get him pressured in the pocket, get him on the move, use those seven behind him to cover, that's how you can play Patrick Mahomes the best, I believe. They'll come up now third and three. And this pass broken up. And the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. On is the punter Townsend as he gets this one away. And that play keep away from the returner as this one will be marked out of bounds at the 13-yard line. Pretty good spot. So Miami coming out for their second drive. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that can put your team in some jeopardy? Now a second and ten. Going to the air, tug of Iloa. Over the middle, complete. That's Hill. Five yards, now it's third and five. Now Tua. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. That gain on third down, good for 28. But we're used to seeing the guy that you consider the number one receiver double covered. But how about this guy? He's double covered and finds a way to make the play for a first down. That's how you increase your Madden rating, right? No doubt about that at all. And you know something? I think we'll hear about that from him soon. Counting down toward the midway point in corner one. On first and ten, it's Mostert. Evades the tackler, and now some space. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. That's over 40 yards of movement with those last two plays. The contact on that run came pretty early. Nice job just to push forward and get some extra yardage. Good game. It certainly was because the initial contact did not signal the end of the play. His mind, his body, his legs said keep turning forward, and he gained more yardage. A Moster to first down carry. This will wind up only getting him a couple. And it'll bring up second down. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. On second down, Moster. And he'll take this close to a first down at the Chiefs 34. Call it a gain of five there on the run, but they'll remain a yard or two short here with third down coming up. I think we can safely say that those types of players are the backbone of this offense. We know not everyone's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. Tua looking to throw on third and two. That one complete to Hill. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down. It won't be by much. He needed three, and he got three, barely. But the mark shows first down. Well, we always hear about the connections some quarterbacks have with certain receivers. I think this guy has a connection with just about everyone. Didn't mind throwing it in there against double coverage to him. Shows some confidence, supreme confidence. Big-time confidence that he would make the play for him. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. 31 yards for Raheem Mostert. And the Dolphins are within an extra point of tying up this ball game.
Well, partner, that was another explosive run. And one thing I've learned in our time in this game, yes, the offensive line has to get a lot of credit. But for big runs to occur, the wide receivers have to block well downfield. And then you have to have a good guy carrying the ball too, right? Oh, without a doubt. You need that difference maker lugging the rock. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And we are tied at seven. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it was capped off by a touchdown run from Raheem Moster. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Montrell Washington on the return from his end zone. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. Out now the Chiefs offensive unit ready to do battle again. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10, just shy of the 30. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Oh, he had a man open. He overshot him. It's incomplete. Looked like they were set up defensively in a zone coverage, but somehow they found a seam because that receiver all alone by rights, that should have been a touchdown, but somehow this ball's overthrown. Here's second and 10. Mahomes going to throw over the middle and complete to Moore. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. Dolphins bring on an extra defensive back on third down. To throw, it's Mahomes. Buying time to his left. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. Certainly not a positive sign if you're the D coordinator. You see your guys give up that space so early in the game. Third down, that's when the clamps are supposed to come out. But his ability to create things with his legs makes things difficult. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 37-yard line. Now here's Mahomes. Targeting more, and he's got him on the crossing pattern. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. Two jump plays in a row. The last one was over 20 yards, and so is this one. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes gets this into the hands of Gray, the tight end. And this carry terminated at the 8-yard line. Good stick skill showing the power, but just not much room to operate. And that's good for a gain of 6, and it's second down. Pacheco gets it up the gut, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Call that a loss of a yard, and things get a little more difficult here, third and five. And that's exactly what offenses try to avoid by using motion and throwing different formations up. They hate when he can draw a bead on the play, get a running start, and make a big play behind the line of scrimmage as he did just there. Here's Mahomes to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And the Chiefs are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. And in a lot of ways, that catch is expected. Red zone presence, and that one was realized there. You've got to find your tight end in that situation. It looks like a jumbo set with three tight ends here for first and goal. They'll run here with Pacheco. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco taking it in from two yards out. And the Chiefs have taken the lead. 
Just power football there down near the goal line. Give it to him. He's able to push his way across. Yeah, they went heavy there. Sometimes you have those big offensive linemen come in after report like they're eligible. But all they're doing is getting a good stance, blocking, and getting their runner across the goal line. An extra point by Butker is on target. And that makes the score 14 to 7. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Barrios going to bring this out of the end zone. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. The Miami's offense set and ready to go. Well, certainly they'd rather have the scenario they had last time. Now, Charles, remember they had the short field. They took it in the end zone. Now this is going to have to be a longer, more sustained drive if they want to get points. Yeah, a little bit more of a quick strike opportunity last time by where they were on the field, and you're exactly right about that. But now, backed up a little bit. What's that old expression we love to use? Time to matriculate the ball down the field and try and do it again. Partner, what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. Meanwhile, Tua's throw is taken in by Waddle. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Waddle's first catch, good for a first down. Now a give to Mostert running right. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling, and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. Second down, here's Mostert again. And good vision there as he's across midfield and down to the 45-yard line. 84 yards rushing now for Mostert as he picks up a first down. Boy, some big runs here, Charles, already in this first quarter. Yeah, if the lanes are there, go ahead and exploit them. But what I like the most, how decisive he is, putting his foot in the ground and going. Two and now on first down. Now he's loose at the 40. And finally brought down at the 38. From the 38 now, here's second and three. Up the middle they go with Mostert. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play as it takes us to the end of the first quarter. Through one quarter, 14-7, our score. It's Dolphins football here as we begin the second quarter. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. Off of play action, tug of my low. And the Chiefs are going to get him. Michael Dana in there to get him for a loss of nine yards, and that also leads to fourth down. They tried to go with a little play action there, but nobody on the defensive side bit. Yeah, they adjusted in time and in a big way and ultimately got the sack on offense. Sometimes you're running play action just to set up a certain blocking technique. In this case, none of it worked. On is Jake Bailey to send this one away. And this is going to hit the goal line and continue on into the end zone for a touchback. 
The ball back to the Chiefs and Isaiah Pacheco. It's the second quarter. His team has the lead, but I think he's hoping for a little bit more production out of himself. And we often talk about preaching patience to a runner when things are a little bumpy in the early going, but we have to do the same thing with the offensive line. They can't wait to halftime to make the adjustments. They have to do it from series to series so the surface tablets come into play. Check out what the defense is doing and see if they can find a better way to run it. So they search for that patience here now. Here's a second and five now from the 25. Throwing now is Mahomes. He's got this to the rookie, Rasheed Rice. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. His first catch, good for 14 there and a first down. Headed straight, it's Pacheco. And slow going there as he'll only get a yard, maybe, up to the 41. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Now we're at the 41, second and nine. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. It's Kelsey on the ground. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 45-yard line. A good gain of 14 there, and it moves the chains. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space, kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. Mahomes now on first down. That ball caught, it's Rice. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. And as a quarterback, you always want to exploit gaps in the defense, and he finds one here. Crossing route, working from right to left across the field. And once you get defenders going in the wrong direction, it is awfully hard for them to pivot back, and you end up getting the first down. On first and 10, here's Mahomes. A dump down to McKinnon. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. As long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. Now it's Mahomes again. And it's caught. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Mahomes hitting his favorite target, Travis Kelsey, on the touchdown pass. And the Chiefs have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Touchdowns on their first three possessions, and they're a PAT from going up 21 to 7. Yeah, very impressive the way that they moved the football. Full command of their playbook, full command of the way they wanted to attack. Butker on for the PAT. It's good, and it is now 21-7. to So that drives seven plays in length, and it culminates in a Travis Kelsey touchdown. the touchdown here's Butker on to kick it away and this will be a touchback Barrios deciding not to bring it out speedster Raheem Mostert and the rest of this offense out to start the drive now he's having himself a little bit of a banner game his team right now though losing needs a little bit of help and I kind of equate it to a basketball game where you have the big score and sometimes your strategy is, okay, he can go ahead and have all of his points. Let's hold down everyone else, and that's the way you win the game. And right now, he needs everyone else to start scoring, quote-unquote, as he's been. Yeah, and he's hoping to keep it close so maybe they can keep it on the ground, not start to go through the air as much. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. 
Motion man is Berrios. Now a fake on the jet sweep and a give to Mostert. Look at this, middle of the field, a breakaway. He may go. And all the way in for the Miami touchdown. Raheem Mostert with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Dolphins are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. And with that carry, he's already over 100 yards here in the first half. And, partner, you know exactly what he's saying to his teammates right now, right? Especially to the play caller. Give me the ball. Again and, <laughs> and again, again, and again and again. It's not that heavy, sir. I'll take it. Sanders on for the extra point. It's up and good. This becomes a 21-14 ball game now. That drive started on their own 25. Two plays, 75 yards later, into the end zone. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. On the return, it's Washington. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. Patrick Mahomes on his way out for their next drive. The last series, the ball never hit the ground. Six to six, touchdown pass, so whatever he did then, do it again, right? Yeah, it reminds me a lot of when I watched the best quarterbacks throw seven on seven, or even routes versus air. They're accurate, the receivers catch it, the ball never touches the ground. Or if you want to take it to basketball, a well-executed fast break, right? Pass, 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 finish at the rim, basket. Yeah, the ball never hits the ground there either. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Looking to throw is Mahomes. This one to the right, caught by Valdez Scantling. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. 11 yards for number 11. That looked like a pretty good route combination there because you've got to find a way to clear the guy running the drag. Because when you do, you just put the ball on him and then let him run. He's got some space. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Mahomes now to throw. A dump down to McKenna. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pick up of nine yards on first down. Second down and a little more than a yard here. Straight ahead they go with McKinnon. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Seven yards there and a first down. Brandon, I think you and I were both raised the same way in the game of football. You run to set up the pass, but I think we've discovered in this NFL, a lot of teams pass to set up the run. And that's what they've done throughout this game. They've aired it out, thrown it around the yard. Now they've come back to the running game, and they find a way to be successful with it. On first down, Mahomes. Over the middle, that's caught by Rice. Now he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. A well-executed 22-yard gain. Now Mahomes. Got an open man. It's Valdez Scantling. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Just need a yard here. Second and one. They're going to look to throw. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 12-yard line. 
Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. A handoff now for Pacheco. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Oftentimes when you see a running back get bunched up in the backfield, it's usually because the defensive tackle is eating up blockers for others to make the play. Not in this case. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. Working from the gun, Mahomes. And he's got the hook up to Moore. A gain of eight there on the play. And now it's third and four. To throw, it's Mahomes. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. Well, he does have one touchdown in the game already, and while this one won't go for six, it's enough to get him first and goal, but you and I both know he's going to be a little upset he didn't cross the goal line for a second time in this one. Might want the ball here on the next play. And that's caught. It's Kelsey. Touchdown, Kansas City. Travis Kelsey, a beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game as his guys are able to extend their lead. And, Charles, they continue to have trouble stopping him as he's into the end zone yet again. Yeah, that's multiple series now that have ended with him in the end zone. A perfect plan on how to utilize him best when they get in close. Extra point by Butker is on target. And the lead now up to 14. So that one a long 11-play drive. And it culminates in a Travis Kelsey touchdown. Touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. And here comes Raheem Mostert in the Miami offense. And Charles, you can't really fault him. He's over 100 yards already. He's not the reason they're losing. And that is really unusual because ordinarily, when you've set the tone this way and have run it this effectively, usually your team's in control. So it's a very strange situation. And you're right, he can't fall in. He's done a great job for his team thus far. I'm guessing he's saying, feed me on the sidelines. Now will they continue to do it? The run defense, they have been porous at times today, but not that last go around. No, they really tightened it up, didn't they? They finally got themselves a win because all game long we've seen them get gashed. This time they played the responsibilities, played their keys, and made a nice stop. Fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. And this offense on third down today, they've hit two for four thus far. This is third and 11. Two are going to throw. And they'll get this on the screen to Mostert. And he's going to be brought down short of the first at about the 31-yard line. And they'll get 10 there, but it leaves him just short for fourth down. On third down, you'll give them that. You just want to make sure that you play the first down line. They were able to get him down and force the punt. And here's Jake Bailey now. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Fielded at about the 28. It'll be a 39-yard punt, four on the return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. And the Chiefs offense ready to go again. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at about the 32. 
They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Throw over the middle caught by the tight end Gray. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Now a second and two. Now here's Mahomes. Now pass complete to Moore. 83 yards receiving now for him on the afternoon as he's got a first down here. Mahomes going to throw. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield complete. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. A big play there on the catch and run. And the Chiefs are going to get a fresh set of downs. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory, down at the 33. And he'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. He kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. So from the 26-yard line, here's second and three. Mahomes to throw once more. And he will find his man on the outside. And Kelsey's going to have a Chiefs first down as he'll be brought down just outside the red zone, marking with the 21. I'd have to say they're feeling like they are in rhythm right now. Things are in sync, aren't they? Team's winning, got a nice little margin on the scoreboard completing some passes, and they just completed another one for a first down there to the tight end. On first and ten, here's Pacheco. And he'll be taken down after a short gain as that takes us to the two-minute warning. On second down, here's Mahomes. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Well, no one wants to see that drop, but I'll guarantee it's not going to stop his quarterback from going back to him any time he has open space. This will be the eighth play of the drive. It's third and seven. Here's Mahomes to throw. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. Oh, man. Just when the D thought they had the answer for him, he went and changed the question. Surprises him by taking off himself. He's able to set up his offense pretty with a first and goal. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. Throwing now is Mahomes. And that's caught. It's Kelsey. Touchdown, Kansas City. Travis Kelsey on his way to a monster game. Three first-half touchdowns. And the Chiefs take a three-touchdown lead. So not only is that his third touchdown catch of the game, he's done it here in the first half. I'm not sure defensively what they're going to come up with to slow him down because already we're seeing him run past over through guys in order to make these catches and being able to try and shut him down at this stage of the game it's going to take a lot of effort so maybe it'll open things up for some other people well they better figure something out and soon extra point by butker is on target and the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away.
And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. Well, Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive, and they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, and this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. Second and 10. From the gun, it's Tua. And this all incomplete. He tried to check it down to his running back and nearly had the ball picked. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. A run with Mostert up the middle. And that's not going to get it done. He'll come up well short of the first at about the 21. The Dolphins will send out the punter now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And a fair catch taken back near about the 35, 36-yard line. We're going to call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And that will come the offense as they take over. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. Sky Moore. And finally down at the 36-yard line. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Time to give some credit to the big fellas, the offensive line here, because you've got to have good protection on crossing routes because you've got to give your receiver time to work all the way across the field. That time, able to scan the field, spot his receiver moving left to right, and make a good, accurate throw. Thank you, guys. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They'll set up to throw. And he'll go right back to Moore. Complete again. And he's going to have the first down as they move into field goal range here at the 25-yard line. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. That'll be incomplete with nine seconds now showing on the clock. I know we're just in the second quarter and there's a ways to go in this game, but that's a second drop. I'm wondering if that's a little bit of an alarm bell for them when they start calling plays on the offensive side of the ball. His eyes already looking upfield on that last one before he brought it in. Now it's Mahomes again. To Valdo Scantling over the middle. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. Butker's kick here is good. So after five touchdowns offensively, hey, maybe it's time to get the kicker a little work, and he's able to connect there. I love that empathetic side of you. You're worried about him getting some action, getting to be a part of the game. Well, he got in and got it done. So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. So we 
we've come to halftime after a very one-sided beginning to this one. As we'll send you down to Orlando, and we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everyone, to our brand-new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. In the first half, it was the reigning league MVP and Super Bowl MVP, Patrick Mahomes, who did his thing. He connected on three touchdown passes in those first two quarters as his guys have built up a sizable lead here at the break. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Dolphins down on the scoreboard, but they'll have it first as we get going in this third quarter. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. Out comes the Dolphins now. They'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They look up at the scoreboard facing that deficit. A three-score game, Charles, but look, there's plenty of time to go here. The old football cliche that comes to my mind is you can't get it all back at once. They probably need something, though. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked up by Justin Reed, and they will take over at the 26-yard line. And that one is going to sting. First play of the third quarter and a turnover. And you have to know that at halftime, they spent a lot of time going through their checklist of what they wanted to accomplish to start this third quarter. Turning it over like this was not on that list. Not at all. You, and you come out of the locker room trailing, so that first drive to establish momentum is very key. Crucial. On the handoff, it's Pacheco. And they've got it in the red zone now, down at about the 19. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Here's second and three. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And this pass caught by Gray. And he's going to be taken down right at the 10-yard line. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Mahomes now to throw. This is caught. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Eight yards on the pickup. Brings up second and two. At the Dolphins, two-yard line. Two yards to go, second down. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And that is caught for the touchdown, Kansas City. Noah Gray, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Chiefs have opened the lead up to 30. Boy, another score. This lead gets even bigger. And Charles, we haven't even hit the fourth quarter yet. Well, forget the deficit, right? They're really not going to cut into that a heck of a lot. But how can they get out of here with some dignity? Can they get a stop or two? Can they make a play on offense themselves? Anything to start to feel better about what's happened to them here in this one. Extra point by Butker is on target. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. Nobody else can make it. You make the play. 
After the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Berrios now from his end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Dolphins offense now ready to go back out onto the field. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive, in particular if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes, get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. Now look, you're not going to be able to get this all back at once, but that certainly helps. So you're saying three yards in the cloud of dust, not the strategy? I go aerial attack. Yeah, I think that's what has to happen. And if you're going to run it, you need to break off big chunks. We just saw a big play right there. They need plenty of those. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Second and seven. Again, they'll run it with Moster. And some good tackling there as he stopped up at about the 41. Calling a gain of a couple, and that's going to leave him with a third and about five. Here's Tua. Oh, this will be incomplete. The rush gets home just as he was letting that go. That could have been worse. Instead, it's fourth down. We've got to give out a little applause on that play. It has to go to the defense. More good work by them. They've taken away the passing lanes all game long, and you can see the frustration that it's causing because he just about threw that one into the first row. And look at this, it's a fake. And he will not even make it back to the line of scrimmage. Fourth and short in this part of the field. You just know the special teams coordinator was rallying the team saying, watch the fake, watch the fake. But Brandon, don't they usually say that on every punting situation? Oh, yeah, they can be up 40 in the fourth quarter. That's their job. They scream that every time. And this time, though, his team locked in, and they were well aware that it truly was a situation that they could fake it. And they were ready for it and stopped it. From midfield, here's Mahomes. Open man here, it's the tight end, Kelsey. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Chiefs first down. This is just more of the same. This defense has had no answer on a lot of these throws. They've let these receivers run wild. And here's another completion for good yardage. Mahomes now on first down. No hesitations, they go right back to Kelsey. I don't care what sport you're playing, everyone likes to build up a little momentum, don't they? And look at this, back-to-back -back completions to the big target at tight end. That one not as profitable as the other, but still a decent game. Second down and a yard. Now Mahomes. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. That's a pretty play there coming out of the backfield. But as that back, you've got to be conscious of making sure you're securing the football. When you get out in open field, sometimes you get a little loose with it as you're trying to get up ahead of steam. Make sure you keep it close to your body because his defenders are trying to punch it through. He does a nice job there protecting the ball and picking up the first down. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that'll give him a short yardage situation here for second down.
Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. Connection made on the out route to Valdez Scantling. Four yards on the play, and that leads to the first and goal. It's been all passing all the time on this drive. Five for five, and now first and goal. Feels like a case of until they stop us, we might as well keep running the offense that we like to run. Don't change up and do something different just because you think you need to. To throw, it's Mahomes. Back of the end zone. Could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. Not too many missteps in the red zone thus far. He was going for his fifth touchdown pass. His now the red challenge flag makes an appearance as Andy Reid wants a second opinion. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. So the decision to throw the flag, a good one by Andy Reid. Extra point by Butker is on target, and the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. the touchdown here's Butker on to kick it away and this will be a touchback Barrios deciding not to bring it out Miami set to take over well we're still in the third quarter so there's some time to kind of clean this up and make it look more respectable now a win that's probably gone out the window Charles but I, I don't know. Do you look at this as a time to just improve and maybe start to look towards the future? I think you have to find something to play for, something to grasp onto until the clock runs out. But, Brandon, we've been around this game a long time. This is an outlier. You don't get many blowouts like this no matter how the game looks on paper going in. This one has turned out to be everyone's worst nightmare realized. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 46. They hand it off to Mostert. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. 180 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. And while the guys with the ball are having a whole lot of fun keeping it on the ground, the guys on the opposite side, they are having zero fun. They've been getting pushed around the entire game and haven't found an answer yet to slow down the running game. On play action, here's Tua. That's caught by the Notre Dame man. It's Durham Smythe. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 20-yard line. It's a pickup of 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs. On first down, Tonga Bailoa completes it to the tight end, Smythe. They'll give him four yards there, and it'll be second down. Well, that's always a good place to throw it just because he's one of the biggest targets not only on this team, but in the National Football League. And you and I both know the quarterbacks love these large-bodied tight ends, and why not? Nowadays, they're really wide receivers who are just taller and have a little bit more weight. These guys catch the football, make big plays downfield. In the old days, we wanted them to... And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by Legereus Sneed. And the Chiefs are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. So their woes on offense continue. That's the second pick thrown here in the third quarter. And we know it was ill-advised, but that was an opportunity to help them get back into the game. Instead, he throws another interception, and now their task is even tougher. The Chiefs ready to rock again on offense. 
This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. After the incompletion, they'll try once more from the 20-yard line on second and 10. Now here's Mahomes. Over the middle, that's caught by Rice. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. That catch puts him over 70 yards receiving now as he's got a first down. Well, I certainly don't want to pile on, but this defense has just not been up to the challenge in this game, and this continues as we see here. Coverage not been very good, soft in spots. There's an easy throw and catch for another first down. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. I had to do a double take on that one, Brandon, because so far in this game, we haven't seen many of his passes fall incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Mahomes going to throw. That is pulled in by a diving Kelsey. The Chiefs have got the passing game rolling a bit. And another first down. I felt that one all the way up here. How about that big man laying out and making that catch? Yeah, that wasn't a 180-pound wideout. That was a tight end. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 45-yard line. Mahomes to throw once more. It'll be caught by Rice. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. A good pickup there, 21 yards. The partner is still in the third quarter, but they've got this one well in hand and still airing it out with gusto and picking up some nice gains. And even in lopsided games like this, you don't really see starters get lifted or the foot come off the gas before the fourth quarter. No one wants to leave any doubt when they're playing well. They just want to continue the process. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. And partner to me, that one was all about timing. If he's there too early, it's going to be a pass interference call. If he's too late, it's a completed pass. He was Johnny on the spot on that one. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. Now a toss left for Pacheco. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. The way things have gone in this one, the running game's been something of an afterthought, and that's not been too bad for them, has it? Yeah, the offensive returns have been good, but I guess we figured he and the ground game would be a bit more involved. Now play number eight on this drive, and they need nine yards to pick up the first on third. Here's Mahomes to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. A good pick up there, 22. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, he just did the tip of the ball across the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. Here's Pacheco, and he is in. Touchdown, Kansas City. Isaiah Pacheco with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Chiefs are pouring it on. Sometimes offense can get too cute down near the goal line, but there's nothing fancy about this one. As Coach Lombardi would say, we get a seal here, and we get a seal here, and we run this play in the alley. And that's good work to hit the hole hard and finish in the end zone. Extra point by Butker is on target, and the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter.
Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And able to get this out to the 25. Miami's offense set and ready to go. And the last time out, they had the good drive going. You get in the red zone, they throw the interception. Not their first pick of the game either, so we'll see if they're more careful, more cautious here on this drive. Yeah, nothing worse than repeat mistakes, right? And now off to the races, down the right side. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. Well, the margin on that scoreboard, obviously, for them, it looks daunting. But I don't know, Charles. They're probably not focused on that right now. Maybe just chaining together a positive drive with plays like we just saw, giving themselves something to build on. Yeah, I think you're right about that. And what they have to be careful of is getting glued to that scoreboard, trying to do too much. Because if you do that, you're all but guaranteed to start making mistakes. Just focus on one play at a time and make each one successful. Well, if you like the guys who run the ball, you're enjoying watching this. But the other guys, especially the defense coordinator, trying to figure out an answer on how to slow down the running game, I think maybe starts to call more blitzes because you can call run blitzes in order to try and get more people to the point of attack. A solid stiff arm. Breaks the tackle now with Alley. And he'll get this all the way down to the Chiefs' 16-yard line. 219 yards rushing for him now in the afternoon as he just continues to pummel this defense. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Now whistles and a flag, and I believe the Dolphin got going a little early. And that's on Austin Jackson, first round pick in 2020. A full start backs him up five, first and 15. Looking to pass to him. And his throw's going to be incomplete. I absolutely love that play call there. They just came off of a big play. They've got momentum in their direction, and they come back and take the shot at the end zone, just unable to complete it by love their aggressiveness. And you feel like the defense, a sigh of relief, could have been back-to-back -back really big plays. Here's a handoff to Mostert running left. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. Five yards will get them back to the original line of scrimmage, but now they're looking at third and ten. It's not a huge breakaway run, but if your starting running back finishes the game with averages of five or six yards per touch, you'll take that every single time. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full ten here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. The Kansas City defense tough to throw on there, and now it's fourth down. And when you've thrown as many interceptions as he has in this one, you definitely start getting a little hesitant to throw the ball out wide because that's prime pick six territory. That time, he made sure the only guy who was going to catch it was sitting in the third row. Sanders kick is good. And they'll get back three, but this remains a large deficit. I'm kind of surprised by that, that they kicked the field goal. I guess you get some points, but this deficit third quarter, I don't know. Yeah, I don't either. Yeah, I'm with you on that one. When you're down that much, kicking a field goal, does it feel a little bit maybe waving the white waving flag the way. I and just, just want to get that. out of here? Yeah, I, I think you got to go ahead and try and get some bigger points on the board. After the field goal, here comes Sanders to kick it away. Washington now brings this out. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. So now here are the Chiefs as their offense makes their way back out onto the field. Well, this offense, this team, they are rolling right now, Charles. They've scored on three straight possessions. You look at the scoreboard, and they pretty much right now got this thing on cruise control. Yeah, and this is that time of game where you and I have to be prepared, right? Isn't this kind of like that empty the bucket time where you have to go into your blowout material and make sure we have some different things? That's what we're staring at right now, the way this one is going. 
Line of scrimmage, the 28 now as they come up on second and a couple. Again, it's Pacheco. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard on the play, so now they need three yards on third down. When this offense gathers to watch the tape, they're going to like a lot of what they saw. They put up big numbers, but they might fast forward through that last play. Oh, there won't be any fast forwarding, partner. I've sat in those sessions before. You end up spending more time on the bad plays than you do on the good ones. It's just the nature of coaches. But I know sitting in that room, when you've had a big game, the night that they've had, you don't want to hear that. You just want to focus on the good stuff. These two have hooked up nine times now this afternoon as they pick up the first. And now a tip of the cap to the man under center, Charles. He just went over 400 yards passing in this ball game. He's got the touchdown passes to boot, taking pretty good care of the ball. Just all around a really solid performance. Yeah, just check, 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 and check, right? Because he certainly showed he was worthy of the trust that his team put in him. A handful of touchdowns to his credit thus far. Now he's just crossing off yardage milestones and win or lose. His name has to be in serious discussion for player of the game. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. We're back now in KC. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair. Five yards, now it's third and five. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. The offense on third down, they've been outstanding. Seven first downs and eight tries. This will be third and five. Able to find the open man, that's complete. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins 37. They give him 17 yards that time as that'll move the chains. Well, there's absolutely been no stopping this offense today. They already have the big lead, obviously. Here in the fourth quarter, they could coast to the end, but right now they're not passing up any chances to put up some garbage time yardage. And, partner, why would they? Because who knows the next time you'll be playing as well as you have today. When you're in that zone, you go ahead and take full advantage of it. You don't worry about your opponent. You just worry about what you're doing. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. They go quickly here out to Moore. That's good, the completion there for seven yards. And third and one now. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Pitch and catch here to Travis Kelsey. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to convert, albeit not by much, on third and a yard. Oftentimes we think of those tough yards as grinding yards that a running back has to pick up. How about the tight end there picking up the first down in that situation? That's what he's there for, right? Big fella, get it to him. Let him fight off some people and pick up the necessary yardage. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. That ball is caught. Marquez Valdez scantling. The end result, 21 yards. I'll tell you what, Martin, the way he's been slinging in this one, I think he should be ticketed for a baseball cap and a set of headphones for the next drive. He's been absolutely sensational. But one thing we've both learned about quarterbacks in this league, they often stay on the field longer than you expect. Throwing now is Mahomes. Touchdown! Blake Bell from six yards away. And the Chiefs continue to run up the score. They lead it big here in the fourth. 
And you wonder now if he might be able to remove the helmet, put on the baseball cap, and watch the rest of this one from the sideline. His fifth touchdown pass of the game. Say that again. Did you say fifth touchdown pass of the game? Yes, sir. But that's a heck of a performance, isn't it? Because they've had no answer for him at all, all game long. Receivers have been open constantly, and he hasn't missed a single one of them. Extra point by Butker is on target. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. After the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And this will be a touchback. Berrios deciding not to bring it out. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Now Tua. And they'll get this on the screen to Mostert. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. He's had success running the football. And this is more or less an extension of that because they drop it off to him on the screen. And I'll bet he's thinking to himself, if I didn't have to slow up a bit here in traffic, I could have really made something out of that one. Here now, third and a yard. Tua sets up to pass it. That is incomplete. I guess at this point, Charles, heck, why not take some shots? I would agree with that totally because a big play can't hurt at all. Heck, you might get a pass interference call out of it. Somehow the ball might get tipped up and you come down with it. Might not do too much for the result of the game, but it could add to your stats. The Dolphins will send out the punter now as he's on for the fifth time here today. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return. Another drive coming for KC, and we'll see Marquez Valdez scantling once again. He's been almost impossible to bottle up. You see that number 10 on your screen, a big reason why they have the lead. One of the guys that's being featured in this game and making sure that he's targeted because they do trust him with the ball. That's why they go back to him time and time again. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Well, I think after that run, the defense get back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them, and do I have enough confidence to make a play? Pacheco gets it again on second down. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it, and, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. And brought down, but the juke, the very nice juke, gets him the first down yardage there. 43 yards for him on the ground now on 18 carries. On third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. So from the 36 now, first and 10. From the gun, they will run with McKinnon. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. An 11-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Chiefs first down. The running game continues to be a big part of their success here early in the fourth quarter. And with those types of runs, that tells you they feel very confident in their running game. They feel very strong at this stage of the contest, and they want to keep doing exactly what we saw there, running the ball down their throat. And he's fortunate to get anything from that. Give him a yard up to the 49. 
You know, it's not just all athleticism from defensive linemen. Let's give them a little credit for their football intelligence as well. Read and react by them, understood the play call, and stacked it up and stuffed the run. Now they'll throw with Mahomes. Got an open man. It's Valdez Scantling. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 41-yard line. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 41. Handoff. It's McKinnon. What a nice burst there as he'll take this inside the 30 to the 28 yard line. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time and another first down. Another example of this offense really having their way, Charles, and another big chunk play there on the ground. And then when you look at the defense, they've got to do a much better job of wrapping up when they tackle. A lot of great opportunities continue to slip through their fingers, as do the runners. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Well, let's face it, not a lot left for them to prove in this game, but they're still throwing the football. I guess, of course, CD, you know, you can always get the backup some work. There's new plays to try out. But some people, let's face it, they just want to run the score up. It's fun. I love the way that you expressed that because you gave plenty of reasons why people like to do things. But ultimately, they just like to keep their foot on the gas. They just want to chomp on teams. And what I like to see is, if you like to do that, how do you handle it when it comes back against you? On those days where someone can run it up on you, do you handle it the way that you expect your opponent to? If so, keep doing your thing. A lot to praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called. They are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, second down. Now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy is nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. Now Mahomes. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. But Charles, they're still airing it out at this point despite that huge lead. And some people may be saying, well, why are they throwing the football? These guys, I guess, are just padding their stats at this point. Yeah, a lot of big grins, I think, from people in their families, from themselves. You're exactly right. Pad the stats when you get an opportunity. It'll certainly help you come contract time. And he will not be able to get the first as he can get this only down to the five. That'll go for a gain of seven. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. Timing is so important on a route like this because he's going to line up out right and then cut straight across the field. I think the ball might have come out a counter two too late because by the time he was able to secure it, not much of a chance to turn it upfield. Butker's kick here is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So a nice kick there as they are able to add on to their lead. And that's exactly what you're looking to do. Maneuver yourself into range. That way, if your drive stalls out, you're able to get something out of it. And they do so right there. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. This fielded right at the goal line. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. The Dolphins offense now working their way back onto the field. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest.
Two are going to throw. And he's got his man on the out route. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. And he'll get this into the hands of Braxton Berrios. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Dolphin first down. Now, this is certainly one of the bigger losses that we are going to see for quite some time. And you have to think at this point where we're at in the fourth quarter with how wide this advantage is. For this offense, they're just trying to end things with a positive drive and then get the heck out of here. Yeah, if this had been a concert, you would have heard plenty of sour notes in this one. But they certainly don't want to end it on one. They want to put together a few more throws like that and at least have a final drive to give them a little bit more hope as they move forward. Ball on the 39. Here's second and a yard. And again, it's Tonga Bailoa. Throw right side, going to be caught here by Waddle. And Waddle going to have a Dolphins first down as he'll get this down to the 36. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Throwing now is Tonga Bailoa. And his throw is incomplete. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play. One that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Going to the air. Tongue of Iloa. Over the middle, he gets it to Barrios. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. So it's third and six, and this will be the eighth play of the drive. From the gun, it's Tua. That's going to be caught by Waddle. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. It's a game of six. First down, Miami. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. They've got a first and ten as they search for a late score. Two and now on first down. He'll get this into the hands of Mostert. And he's going to be out down inside the 20 at the 15. The Dolphin passing game rolling here. They've got another first down. And when you're throwing the ball downfield really well like they have been on this drive, it's really a nice time to work one of the screen plays in. One of my favorite play callers in the game has always told me he starts every game with 10 to 12 screens because if he starts feeling the pressure from the defense, he uses their aggressiveness against them. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Defense simply not fooled by the draw there. Well, they were thinking run to begin with, and what they tell their defensive linemen is, play the run on your way to the quarterback. If someone shows, go get him, and that's exactly what they did. On second down, Tua. Well, oh, that'll be incomplete. Well, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. And here you're down in the red zone. You need to be smart, not force anything. So that's a wise decision to just get rid of the football. An incomplete pass on second down. It muddles things a little bit here. This is third and ten. Here's Tua. Steps away to his left. Five yards that time out of the scramble. But now they're looking at a fourth down situation. Well, it certainly appears to me that the defensive guys are starting to look a little bit tired. 
Well, he still has some fresh legs. Not the biggest gain we've seen on a scramble, but still some positive yardage on a play that initially looked like a sure win for the defense. So fourth down, two and departs, and on is Jason Sanders and the Dolphin field goal unit. Sanders' kick is good, and they'll get back three, but this remains a large deficit. So they get three, certainly hoping for six after a 13-play drive. So you console yourself on defense by saying you did your job, right? If they go 13 plays, you only give up a field goal. You did a nice job there. But here's the other part. 13 plays, you don't force any mistakes. You don't take the ball away. Maybe that's the way they should look at it. After the field goal, here comes Sanders to kick it away. On the return, it's Washington. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. KC's offense ready to take over. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now, defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. Now here's a fake on the jet sweep as they'll go instead with Pacheco. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. They just look like they're having fun out there. Big lead. There's another big play on the big run. I mean, they can't be stopped. I'm a little bit older than you, as you well know, partner, and you tend to tell me that all the time. But uh, there used to be a big time song, and the lyric was, summertime and the living is easy. Right now, it's football time, and the running is easy for this crew. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. Well, fans usually love to see scoring, and there was no shortage of it today. What a dominant showing from an offense that was truly playing at an elite level in this contest. Partner, this game was over a long time ago. And you noticed they did not want to slow down anything. Absolutely a dream scenario for 